A fountain man accused of killing his girlfriend back in July is now a free man. Today, the district attorney's office dropped all charges against Miles Kirby, including a first degree murder charge. Jocelyn was always laughing and loved her kids, loved everything. Thomas Tietzel remembers his daughter Jocelyn as an upbeat mother who loved her children. But one morning in July changed everything for their family. To be honest, I'm trying to get justice for my daughter. Something needs to be done. According to court documents, Jocelyn's boyfriend, Miles Kirby, and a neighbor called 911, saying he found her hanging from a rope in a shed in their backyard. Kirby told police the two had an argument the night before about the house not being clean. He says when he woke up the next morning around 6, he saw her hanging in the shed. It goes on to state that before calling police, Kirby says he untied her from the noose and placed her on a table in the backyard. Police say that is how they found her when they arrived. An officer says in the arrest document that the marks around Jocelyn's neck were not consistent with a hanging. In the document, police say Kirby handed over surveillance video showing the side of the house and the driveway, but no video was saved from the backyard camera pointing at the shed. Police say five minutes before the 911 call was made, the surveillance video of the side of the house shows Kirby walking from the backyard to the driveway, saying, I'll expletive kill you. Call your expletive lawyer. Police arrested Kirby on charges of first degree murder and tampering with a deceased human body. I saw no remorse in that guy. None whatsoever. I'm not saying there wasn't a rope, but I'm not I'm saying that she didn't put it there. The El Paso County coroner ruled Jocelyn's death as a homicide, but later changed her cause of death to suicide. The autopsy report says the change was based on three findings. Investigators were later able to recover that backyard surveillance video of the shed. They say it shows Jocelyn going to the shed alone before she was found dead the next morning. Also considered was how the rope was wrapped around her neck and first responders determining she died sometime between the time when she entered the shed and was found. Now the district attorney's office has dropped all charges against Kirby. They have the video that totally exonerates him. His lawyer says Fountain Police rushed to charge his client before knowing the whole story. He says the comments heard in the surveillance video of his client that morning were because he could not find her and was going to be late for work. Jocelyn's father says he still has questions and believes his daughter did not commit suicide. Well, the coroner's first decision was homicide. So if his first decision was homicide, there had to be a reason why. The district attorney's office filed to drop the charges without prejudice, meaning charges could still be refiled against Kirby at any time. Fountain Police and the DA's office declined to comment further, saying the investigation is still ongoing. In studio, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5.